Hello there everybody, today I'm going to show you how to knock up twice as many people with Snorlax's ult. It's a bit OP, let's do it. Okay, so in case uh, you didn't see the Blastoise video I did a little while ago, there's basically some weird interactions that happens with a, uh, a flash, an eject button, um, that can sometimes kind of be staggered into your existing stuff and make things go really wonky and really weird. And it's great, and it's a lot of fun, and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So first things first. It's, it's a combination of flash, fundamentally, that makes this work. Now, you may already know that you can flash mid-heavy slam to increase your knock-up range. Uh, what you probably don't know, though, is that you can also flash mid-ignite uh, move to actually stagger your knock-up and hit multiple groupings with it. So, basically, you're hitting the original grouping that you had, and in addition to that, the new grouping. I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'll hit both these guys and the guy below me by, by if I time it correctly... Bop, bop. I've actually hit them both. Even though I was definitely on the ground by the time I flashed, I was actually able to hit both these two and that guy. Um, we'll show you again going into this guy with nothing else behind us. So the key is to hit it right as you're hitting the ground, and you'll actually hit both the area where you were as well as the area where you will soon be. And so the end result is uh, that you can fundamentally double the amount of people that you're hitting uh, just by flashing into it. Here, we're going to flash into this guy. So that one we did a little bit early, okay? And so uh, we, we would have hit him either way. We probably would not have hit somebody that we had just left. Um, let's try to use these guys. These guys are really great for showing this off because they're, they're basically at the maximum amount of range possible, right? Right around here looks like it probably will hit this guy. And it, our flash should bring us pretty close. Let's see if it, if it works. Ah, I think we're just, just too far away for it over on these guys. All right, here. We'll, we'll try a different tactic. We'll go down here for it. Let's go down here. I'm just trying to find some new mobs to mess around with, basically, and make sure that you guys can see that you're hitting both units. You're hitting the unit that you left as well as the unit that you are now in. So, um, ooh, I don't, don't want to auto-attack him. I want to let go of that mouse button. Another hidden passive right here. I don't know if you ever noticed this, but Snorlax gets happy around berries and he runs extra fast. Keep that in mind. It's part of his uh, hidden passive right there. So, right here, we will hit this guy on the right, but not the guy on the left, right? No one, no one argues that. But, if I wait for the right moment, I will hit and knock them both up. Fundamentally giving me an extra about this much range on my Unite ability. Here, let's try it again. You ready? We, we're gonna use it. Um, we're gonna use it to hit this guy over here as well as the uh, minions in the middle. There you go. That is insane. That's like having another ultimate ability. Knock up has always been one of Snorlax's weakest parts. The the unite is not very wide, right? So whenever people moved around or moved out of your location, you couldn't hit them anymore with your Unite ability, and it made it kind of useless. A lot of times you ended up using it as a heal, which is great, and a shield rather than an actual CC ability, but that doesn't have to be the case. So in addition to being able to, now here's what I, I haven't che checked this yet. No, it did not hit both of them. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. We got to see what we can do here. Basically what I would like to do is see if, if um, I can hit both. All right, I, I would need another one to notice. Okay, so let's try this up, up top, but in terms of the Unite move, so hopefully you do now see that you can just flash to get extra distance during your heavy slam if you didn't know that it's a fairly common one but what i want to see now let's see is there anything that's in a good position to do it this might work right here i might be able to do it let's see nah i'm worried that that's not going to do it let's try it with the uh no i it doesn't seem like it's going to do it for uh for a heavy slam i don't think you can duplicate your heavy slam um, I might try some more in, at a later date, but we know 100% that you can duplicate the damage and the knockup from your Unite ability. Which means during a team fight, instead of knocking up two people, you can be knocking up four people by flashing at them. And there's really very little reason not to do it. So um, I do think that that's going to be a very powerful thing here. Let, maybe we could try it with this. Oh, he's going to attack that and get pushed that way. Let's see. Does the mob come back? He's being auto-attacked by that dude. Dang it. One more time. We're going to try this one more time. Get out of here. No, I don't believe I don't believe that it, it works that way. But definitely you want to keep in mind the ability to duplicate your Unite abilities just by simply flashing. But yep, it's important to keep in mind that you can also flash on your Heavy Slam. So there you go. How to break the game with Snorlax 
with the eject button is it doesn't even matter. You can even you can be like, oh dude, I'm not gonna hit you, boing, and then hit him. It, like you can gank with this. This makes it a totally gankable move. You ready? Oh man, boop. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Go ahead, go break some games with Snorlax with uh, an eject and unite ability. I love it. Peace. <laughs>